Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is TayJ and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really easy tutorial on how to download Minecraft Forge mods and shaders with T-Launcher. So I hope you enjoy and let's get straight into it. So the first part of this tutorial is downloading T-Launcher and T-Launcher is a Minecraft launcher. So when you search T-Launcher, click on this link that will take you to the official T-Launcher website and then you're going to go on T-Launcher for Minecraft and then choose Windows or Mac depending on what you're on. I'm on PC for this version so I'm going to be using the Windows platform. And once you have clicked on the version that you are going to be using, the T-Launcher installer will start downloading. So once it is finished, you simply drag it to your desktop and double click it to open it. And then a little pop-up screen will come up, which will give you a welcome. You just press continue, agree to the license agreement, which is just a generic terms and conditions. Agree to downloading Opera. You can easily uninstall this after you've got T-Launcher downloaded. And then the final last continue will let you download T-Launcher and now it will start installing. You're also given the option for a shortcut on the desktop, which is completely up to you. But once you finish this last little continue, the installation is completed. And now you will notice that there is T-Launcher on your desktop, or if it's not on your desktop, you can just look for it in your search bar. Now we're going to double click on T-Launcher, which will open up the T-Launcher home screen, which has a lot of details about installing your skin and pairing your account. But what we want to focus on is this little tab down here, which has all the different versions. The great thing about T-Launcher is that you can get Forge and Optifine without downloading loading them manually. So we're going to choose Forge and Optifine 1.19 and click install. This will take a few minutes to install and then once it is finished you click enter the game and then this will bring up the Minecraft launcher with Forge and Optifine for 1.19 already in it. So that's essentially part one of the tutorial done and now we're going to move on to downloading the Forge mods. So now we're going to minimize our Minecraft screen and bring up a search bar and we are going to look up Curse Forge. So for this part, you can look up any Minecraft mod for 1.19 that you want to download, but the manual way to do it is to go through Curse Forge, go on Minecraft and then mods, and then search for the mod that you would like to use in the mods bar. I chose Biomes Plenty for this because it's a really good and really popular mod for 1.19. So when you find your mod, you simply click on it and you can see that this mod is for 1.19. So we're going to scroll down to all the versions to just make sure that there is the latest 1.19 version and then we just click on download file which will bring the file to start downloading in the bottom of our screen. Once this is finished downloading we're going to drag it to our desktop and then over on our Minecraft launcher we are going to open the mods folder which you can see that there is Minecraft and Forge in and then click on open the folder and we're going to drag the mod into the mods folder and then what we're going to do is restart the Minecraft launcher because this essentially refreshes it and makes sure that the mod is within the launcher. So we're going to enter the game again, load up Minecraft and now this time once we have loaded it up the mod will be in the game. So now that we are in our launcher, I'm just gonna make a fresh Minecraft world for the sake of this tutorial. And now you will notice that when we load up into this world, the mod is in the world. So we have successfully downloaded the 1.19 Forge mod. And now you can experience all sorts of different mods in your Minecraft worlds through T-Launcher. Now, lastly, we're going to move on to shaders. This is an extremely similar process to downloading mods and we're going to go in our search bar and I'm choosing BSL shaders for this tutorial. So we're going to go on the BSL shaders website. There's a lot of different websites, but all you need to find is a 1.19 download link. And then you're going to click on this link, which will start downloading the zip file for BSL shaders. And once this is finished downloading, simply drag it to your desktop. And now we're going to go back into Minecraft, click options, video settings, shaders, open up our shaders folder in the bottom left. And then we're going to drag this zip file into the shaders folder. And we don't have to restart Minecraft like we did with the mods. We simply have to click on the shader and then the shader will be in Minecraft. And it really is that easy. And you can download any shader this way, as long as you have Optifine installed. And we do have Optifine installed on T-Launch because earlier we chose the Forge Optifine 1.19 option. Alrighty guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment any further questions you might have for me about mods or shaders or the download process. And feel free to check out my videos on mods and shaders so you can find what to use for 1.19. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.